<clears throat> Do you want to hear a story? Hmm? 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 Subscribe. So for those who don't know, I'm currently the owner of a sort of new Project Zomboid multiplayer server. In that server, we have built up a mod collection of things that players like and enjoy and kind of make the game feel a lot larger than what it is. Just this past chapter, we added new spots around the map so that, you know, it basically made the game bigger. And I just created my first mod. So now we have things that build the world we want based off of the things I'm kind of being able to make. I made my dog into a 3D object and now he is findable <laughs> in the game. So with that, I have a whole list of things I would like to add to the server. And one of those things that was brought up to me, shout out to my guy Shogun. You might see him around the server. Zombies in the corner. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Watch out. I wanted to be able to assign titles. Back in the Call of Duty days, there used to be this thing called like a title banner or something like that. And you had to complete certain objectives to unlock those different titles. It would say something like Mr. Headshots or drop shooter or something and you unlock that because you got 60 headshots or you unlock that because all you do is drop shoot all game and those titles used to be lit people hacked and you know you could get any title you wanted so then it kind of just became like i just like what this says on the title <laughs> so people used to have a lot of unique ones that you just didn't even know was a thing on the game i want that type of feeling in the game i want to be able to add different titles to players based off of rewards based off of a mission we completed hey everybody who was in this group you just got the new title i don't know warrior because you completed a fighting mission i don't know something like that so switching over to project zomboy we're gonna go into the server and see what it looks like but you can see off rip all we have is it just say survivor in the middle of the screen which i honestly don't hate to get to this point y'all i exhausted a lot of resources and time i was pulling my hair out trying to figure this out once again this is only my second mod <laughs> for project zomboid i don't have that much lua experience i don't have that much zomboid coding modding experience like i have no i basically am starting as a rookie but going down this journey was so fun found out very quickly about project zomboid if it hasn't been done yet you might not know how to do it <laughs> somebody has had to completely break this game to understand the most simple things. And you see that when you start to look up different mods and different ideas, it's not like there's a mod out there for everything because it just hasn't been solved yet. This hasn't been done. What am I gonna base my work off of? So I started looking up everything. I was looking up XP mods that showed like a XP pop-up. I was looking up um, logos. There's some mods that have logos that can pop up, up, up on top of your head. And I just could not figure out what i needed to do to get to that point and yeah i asked chat gpt to help me it had this one weird time where it was glitching in two different places i'm like gpt you did this what how do i fix this i i've learned a thing where you know you should probably keep your old code or like keep like a checkpoint like i built it up to this point this is like the most basic form of it now let's see what happens when i do this let's see what happens when i do this out of what happens there it doesn't matter because i can still go back to that starting point and i lost that so i had to i spent the whole another day getting that code back to the point i had it at which was stressful i posted like a short summary of our chapter one on reddit and someone commented and said hey you you know you can share the server in the project zomboid discord no no one has told me that thank thank you for that i don't think our server is at that point yet where we're pushing it out like crazy we're still making adjustments here and there but like i was like that's good to know so let me join it so i join it i see something about modding <laughs> I'm like, of, it, of course, of course, other modders have connected with other modders and created a community. So in Project Zomboid, there was a whole chat dedicated to people having issues with mods, asking basic questions, detail like the code and the 3D model and getting real feedback. I basically was just saying, help, help me. If anybody could tell me the most simple thing to do here, I will love you till the end of time. And that was my guy, Glitcher. Shout out to Glitcher, y'all. He is in my Discord. I was I was like super bad because I was like multitasking to get back to him, but he was he knew the answer immediately. He didn't really understand what I was trying to do. So that's kind of why I was like, dude, if you could just get it to this point that I'm gonna show you guys, we are in a good spot. <laughs> Look how he joined our Discord. He posted his own 
hi gif i love that i was like now i need i need to make a gif but he immediately offered help um he immediately said in the discord as well like hey like if anybody needs help with mods commissions whatever it is hit them up like we we have never had that type of resource i started my first project zomboy server uh, like two or three years ago it was just me and a couple of friends and a couple of viewers that we usually play games with probably we probably made it up to like six people at most so this is like where we are now where we're kind of you know in that 10 plus number right now where i i really want to put more attention on building something very unique which we have we are our server is already very unique you can find a west doll somewhere around it <laughs> so once again if we head over to project zomboid you can see i am just smack dab in the middle of the screen it's not really a big deal right now um just because it kind of adds something to it like I, I almost think it's funny that it is here because like once you get those rare titles you're gonna always see it when you boot up your game which i think could be something we could build on all right so i'm gonna hop in here and you can see the text just stays on the player it's so perfect and i couldn't figure out how to do this like i said i was getting like it was flickering it was teleporting all over the place it was popping up over his head 150 times i couldn't get to this point this is a very basic point that i wanted to get to um like i said i don't even know if it works in multiplayer yet i haven't even made it that far like this is just the first part of it so like i said you have the option to remove the title it's gone it goes away once again you can go back and you see i have multiple options here so that was what i wanted to build out was like okay how can i assign multiple things that one person can choose so that way you could just have a list of things here that you can choose that you've unlocked doing whatever it is to do so right now i, I think these two starting ones are very funny like i was thinking citizen or like people that probably don't leave the base often like they're just chilling you know fighting doesn't really do anything for them they have everything they need so they're a citizen so we're like survivor like i picture it's the guys who like stay outside of the gate like the guys who like to explore and go kill stuff all the time like i think this is really cool so this is a very oh 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 look i i, I found something new so it's locked hmm okay i don't know if we like that or not that's something new so we've made it so once again shout out to glitchers shout out to shogun who gave me the idea for this mod in the first place i'm gonna continue to build it out no clue when it will be done but this is just a personal project um i felt like could add some some more fun to our server so um it will probably be after i complete my next mod um that i'm currently working on right now. If this is your first time seeing me, my name is Malik Childish. I run a Project Zomboid server you can join just by hopping into the Discord. If you're not new, appreciate you watching, appreciate you stopping by, and we'll talk soon. There's a lot of zombies in the corner. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> that's a big one, watch out. Two, 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 two.